So here we are guys at the Musselman Vista Furnace and this is just uh, the plaque here to tell you all about the history of this area. This is in Marietta and if I pan back you can see the old building here. This is just the um, Iron Furnace Center. I've never been in there so I have no idea when they're open or what they have in there but I love the architecture. If you can see the windows, see the curvature in the top of the windows and the, uh, the shutters um, and the beautiful scroll work there, it's gorgeous. And then if I pan over this way, this is all the ruins here of uh, what was part of the furnace. Um, there's a piece of equipment there and it goes back a ways if you go back into there I may have done a shoot or two here I believe in the past so the buildings are really cool there's a lot of ruins back there and um, I'll have to dig those photos up and show you guys again sometime but I just wanted to share this with all of y'all that have not seen this yet and I'm gonna walk uh, the direction my phone is Right now, I'm going to walk that part of the trail and see if there's anything interesting. I've never been that way. So, all right, I'll let you know. So, guys, this is something I noticed that um, as I was doing the other video, zooming in, I didn't see before. Um, this is one of the iron pits or uh, the oven, one of the ovens, I believe. Um, you can see all the bricks in there. Uh, busted up in the concrete and there is a concrete block right up here and if I zoom in you can see there's letters on it it's H-E-A something and Bosch I can't really tell what the rest of that says but that's pretty cool you can actually read some of the words on this brick so that's really cool. I'm wondering if maybe it just was covered up by, uh, you know, all kinds of brush in the spring when I was here. So pretty interesting. I'm going to keep walking the trail and I'll let you know if I find anything else. So this is downtown Marietta and I did stay at a and b one time and they have a great restaurant. I think it's called the Railroad House. These are all very old buildings, um, really cool architecture. And then the trail goes to my left. So I just wanted to show you guys really cool downtown in Marietta. So guys, this is the direction that the trail goes and we're just gonna follow this now. And this goes over what was the old PRR and is now the NS. So we're gonna walk right through and go across the tracks at the crossing. And we'll see what's on the other side, which will be a trail, of course. Okay, and we're at the top here, and you can see what a great shot that is. And you go the other way. It'd be great to catch a train here. All right, guys, I'm going to walk down the trail, and uh, if there's anything interesting, I'll let you know. So I went off the trail, guys, and went through town a little bit because some of the architecture is so cool and the houses. Here is a tavern across the street here. Uh, Shanks Tavern. Really cool architecture. Really neat building. Didn't even realize this was here, so I might have to go check it out and have a beer. All right, catch you later. So I walked through town and I'm at the other end of Marietta and there's this old siding here that goes through this property. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I'm surprised it's still here actually they just left it in but it's part of somebody's front yard so that's pretty cool just wanted to share that with you guys 
And uh, if you ever have a chance to walk through Marietta, through Front Street, um, I would suggest it if you like old architecture and old buildings. Uh, it looks like they're trying to revitalize some of the buildings as well. So pretty cool. All right, talk to you later. You can see here it is cut off. Uh, there's the street and on the other side is the PRR right there. So that's, and you know, where it was in reference to the tracks where they are today. So this is the Railroad House Inn, and it is also a restaurant. This is the end of the street, and I have stayed here before up in that balcony, was part of my room, and you can see the railroad tracks right across. It's a great place to rail fan, and the tracks are right there. And the trail is right on the other side of the tracks, and there are several areas where you can cross the tracks to get over to the um, to the walking trail and biking trail. A lot of people like to bike it as well. So pretty cool place. I recommend it if you ever are in this area in Marietta. So guys, across the street now from the Railroad House Inn, this old building, absolutely beautiful architecture, was a freight station for the old PRR. Pretty cool. And I believe they are um, redoing it. I think they're working on it. You can see the window there. Looks like it's maybe been replaced. Um, but around on the other side of it, the front side, there is actually a <laughs> photo shoot going on. So I couldn't exactly do a video. And that is the Railroad House Inn right there. Um, very much the same architecture. And then if you pan, if I pan over to this side, you can see there's some more very old buildings, really cool architecture at the top. You can see all the dentile work in the brick. It's really cool. So just wanted to share all of that with you guys. If you ever have a chance, you should get down here and check it out. It's pretty cool. I hope this get, they get this building done at some point and uh, I don't know, do something with it. It would make a really neat brewery or something. That'd be cool. All right, catch you guys later. So look at that, guys. I'm crossing the tracks at the crossing to get to the trail. And look at that, there is a yellow over red sign at the signal. Can you believe it? That means that something's coming. I mean, who knows how long it'll be, right? But that is a great sign. I've already caught two trains on this line today, so maybe I'll get really lucky and catch another one in the next few minutes. If not, I'll give it a little bit of time and then I'm heading back down the trail until I get to the next tavern. Go have me a beer. <laughs> so wish me luck, okay guys? Thanks. <laughs>